Hey, welcome back to my channel. Got a little three incher here on the bench and we're going to check this out. We have some motor noise. We got some vibration, motor noise, some issues going on. And I'm just going to show you real quick how to check to see if you have a bearing or a bad uh, issue in your motor. So you might have garbage in your motor. You might have, you know, some stuff stuck in your magnets. Uh, in this case, I'm suspecting we got a bearing issue. So this is what this video is about real quick on how to how to find out if you have a bearing uh, problem in your motor. So let's check it out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is is we're going to remove our props okay definitely don't want to do any of this with our props on okay so take your props off and you're going to need uh, your lipo you're going to need a usb cable to go to beta flight and we're going to spin these up i like to use a piece of foam i like to have a little piece of foam underneath it i don't want uh, the frame touching my surface directly because of the vibrations it may uh, gather from that. So we want to hear clean, clean motor sounds. So let's jump over here to Betaflight and get that set up. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is plug in our quadcopter to the USB cable and then we're going to plug the USB cable into Betaflight. Okay. Go ahead and connect. And we're just going to check yeah it's moving around so we're connected go over here to motors tab and we're going to say yes our props are off okay now we're going to go ahead and plug in our plug in our light bow all right and then we're just going to spin up motor one That sounds really good. We're going to spin up motor two. Not too bad. Motor three. That's not too bad. Motor four. Oh. Motor four. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, those are some bad bearings. By going this route, we're not using the PID loop and all, all the other stuff. So by going into these motor tabs, we're getting a clean uh, signal to the motors. It sounds like this, this, one, this motor is a... It's a little rough, but this one is definitely, definitely got a bad bearing. We don't want to run that motor. Okay. So we're pretty much done with beta flight. All right, so we're done with beta flight. We can disconnect there. Unplug the quad. Okay. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna be on the bench for a very. Uh, very long you want to have like a little fan or something blowing on it but this is just real quick i just wanted to show you how i, I just see a lot of questions on uh, facebook and other areas where people just don't know how to check the motor bearings and that's probably the best way that i've found to do it because um, you can't really feel it when you turn it you have to bring up a certain amount of rpms like right now i'm just not feeling that now when we take it apart and i, I have a bearing here So here's a bearing for that motor. I hope you can see that. So this bearing, once you take the bearing out, you can you can check it. You can put it on your you can put it on a shaft, like this is about the right size, and you can just spin it. 
and it and it, you can feel in your fingers that it's smooth. So this is a, a new bearing. Now, how do you get the old bearings out? Now let me uh, let me do that in a separate video because that's going to take a moment. But that's how you check a bearing to make sure that the uh, you know that's what it is. I've already inspected look looking inside it to make sure there wasn't metal shavings or you know any type of screw or anything touching the the thing. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Okay, so just a quick video for you to to see how it's done. And hey, if you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.